This tutorial will cover the creation of a pile cap footing and once analyzed its calculation sheet and detailed drawing. I've opened the example 8 pile example which has already defined parameters and pile layouts. Also the job info and assigned supports has been selected. The example only uses supports 4, 5, and 6 for the pile cap job. This information can be viewed and edited by going to edit current job in the job setup menu. PileCap job design parameters allows for input of concrete and reinforcement parameters such as the strength of concrete, yield strength of steel, and pile and pile cap. The user must specify minimum and maximum footing bar size to give the user flexibility to optimize the foundation design. The diagram shown gives a visual representation of the design parameters. The user can choose to create pile layout for each support using the predefined or parametric tool. Only one of them should be used to create piles for the foundation. This example uses the predefined tool, but I will explain how to use parametric as well. Both allow input for lateral, vertical, and uplift pile capacity, and pile diameter, spacing, and edge distance. A support must be selected from the pile cap job to create its arrangement. The predefined setup calculates the most efficient pile arrangement using pile data and load cases using auto arrangement or manual arrangement. Auto arrangement allows the program to use its algorithm to recommend a pile arrangement or the user can select manual arrangement to create his or her own using the embedded pile position table. To select an arrangement with auto arrangement, either go with the program recommended option or select a new one and press OK. Please note that the program goes through each service load case and calculates pile reactions for all possible pile arrangements and lists only those arrangements which pass the given pile capacity check. For manual arrangement, enter pile position values relative to support position at 00, zero and then press select arrangement when done or making changes. Select show pile reactions to view a pile reaction table for the selected support. As discussed, the parametric pile layout option contains the same pile data input options as the predefined option. The user must select rectangular or circular pile arrangements. If rectangular is selected, then the number of rows, row spacing, number of columns, and column spacing must be inputted. If circular is selected, number of piles, number of layers, pile spacing, and use center pile option are needed instead. I will enter 4 for all values as an example. After making any changes, click Select Current Arrangement. If the message Pile Arrangement Successfully Assigned comes up, then the program has checked Pile Reaction against Pile Capacity and it has passed. If Pile Reaction in one or more pile is more than the Pile Capacity, a message will appear disallowing the user to create this arrangement and will show the critical load case. At the bottom, a table shows row or column spacing, depending on which option is selected above the table. After pile arrangement has been selected using one of these two methods, click Design to create the calculation sheet, GA drawing, detail drawing, and output. The calculation sheet contains the design for each pile cap with detailed steps, figures, and references to code which were used for design. You can see here the pile reactions table and following reinforcement calculations. Also, it is important to know that the entire pile cap design is based on pile reactions, not pile capacities. So, pile arrangement will have an effect on design calculations. The output section contains important design information for each support. Detail drawing gives plan and elevation views for individual footings. This drawing shows support and footing dimensions and any reinforcement. It can be exported to CAD software such as MicroStation or AutoCAD using the Save Drawing As feature. Thank you for watching this tutorial.